Hey guys, Gabe here, that guy Breadstick, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last episode, we did a lot of dialogue doing, and we um, found out that there's this Pokemon um, that needs our help. I can't remember the name of the Pokemon, that's why I'm saying a Pokemon, but um, that is part of the Pearl Clan. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing exactly that, and um, we have a weirdie here. I spoke, I spoke to Weird Deer about what's been going on. I told him how you've been tre trekking all over the fuel land, seeking a way to, to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this for someone who's not even part of our clan of the Pearl Clan. Just, someone wanderer, just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Word ears found you're worthy. You see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, my? This is very important, so listen well. So it's the... It's like whenever you start the game. I guess that's the best way to put it. That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Word Deer so you could ride upon him. It's said that the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Okay, so to call a special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. It's Timber. Okay, so basically, if we want to do anything with this Pokemon, um... If we want to do anything going forward with riding any Pokemon, we would use the Celestica flute in order to, um, do anything with that. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. And I'm, watch this, I'm just gonna be a natural. Told you. What did I say? Where do you open its heart and learn? Well, the sound of your playing. You received the mind plate from Wordier. Now, use that celestial flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great Wordier. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Wordier, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. So is Weird Ear my Pokemon now? Because I want my own Weird Ear. That's what I want. Because that Pokemon is so cool. Alright. Whoa! Oh my god. This is so cool. Wow! Alright. I guess we'll... Come on. Take... So balloons. Um... gonna flag that where's my flagged all right it's that way i don't know if i'm running faster with this word here that's the issue here oh To be fair, I didn't think that was going to happen. Oh well. Um. Alright. I guess that's better? I don't know. Alright. How do I get down there? Oh, it's this way. Oh, I could have just transferred, couldn't I have? That's kind of upsetting. Alright, it's fine. Um, I just hope I don't have that buy barrel, that, that alpha buy barrel right here like last time. I don't think I will. Let's see. Oh. Oh, maybe it's not hostile. Maybe the alpha buy barrel is not hostile. But, we're gonna head up this way. 
through here. Ooh, we have a Venarian, a Psyduck. We haven't seen a Psyduck yet. Which is very interesting. Ooh, we can gallop across this way, which is actually really smart for us. Alright. So you see that... Wait, he looks like... Oh, well, whose hat is that? I, hey, you know, he's... Someone's hat, um... It's Clay's hat, isn't it? But that's not... Isn't it Clay's hat? Pokemon Clay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is Clay's hat. So is Leon... Or Leanne... Is Leanne a... Ascendant a Clay? That's what I'm assuming here, is that... Because that's the same hat. Alright, whatever. Are Leanne and Clay related? So you say that the Galaxy Pokemon came up with the method to tech to try to quell Lord Weaver's frenzy? What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You Galaxy people, you inventionists, just blew me away. I mean, now you can make offers to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it, if it need if it means we po might po provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't go ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plum be beans. I brought them as promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Irita. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, as we've been we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have no little choice but to turn to the Galaxy Team. But even, but even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust the, such a thing to an outsiders. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So provide to me, you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister or as my blood. If you catch Gla if you def if you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will ensure you with the Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Hold on. I'm not surprised that this would be this would be too much to ask of a stranger outside of the sky. No, I just want to switch out my Pokemon real quick because my issue is that Deadshot is up front and Deadshot Deadshot keeps getting destroyed. So I want to put. Zeus up front. So then I don't have this issue. Then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you, chill you to depths. I just, why do you get a Glaceon this early on? Is the levels the same? Level 17. Oof. Wait. Did I not switch... Does it not matter? I'm pretty sure I switched them to the front, but okay. Alright. Quick attack. Oof, that's not good. Alright. Swift. Oof. Um. Something tells me that I need to do be training up my Pokemon. That's all I gotta say. That's super effective. Ugh, this is not good. Alright. Does Ross have quick attack? Please tell me Ross has quick attack. Alright. Now, this is where... Yeah. That's... See... If I let off with your defeat in power, try again with a stronger team. Oh, so.
That doesn't make any sense to me. Why are, why are we throwing Deadshot out first? That's what I want to know. That's because Deadshot is not the best Pokemon for this. I'm going to be 100% real with you, mate. That's why I'm like, why did we throw Deadshot out first? But I know we could do this even without with our really low-level team. Oh, well, never mind. Swift just decided to be better. Maybe we are too low-level. I didn't expect how fast for this to be. I might have to hit a quick attack if I can survive this swift. Uh, well. I'm gonna try it three times, and if I can't hit it within three times, then... I didn't realize the huge level difference. I think that's what my issue is here. Oh no, I can definitely do this. I can definitely do this. Okay. Now that I understand how this entire thing works, and how this battle works, I can definitely get this done. I was defeated. Try again. And... This is just kind of frustrating to me. Because I might have to do some grinding. Like... So, Deadshot is just a one-hit kill, for whatever reason. Why do I throw... The order of your Pokemon in Legends Arceus. Because I'm kind of... This is what's frustrating to me, is that I'm not- I'm throwing out a Pokemon that I don't want to throw out first. And fixated on using Rollout, but the Swift's gonna kill me. So now Zeus is out. Oh wait, what the fuck? That did like absolutely nothing. Huh. I'd even get a paralyze off. I'd I I, I don't even know what to say. I'm getting my shit rocked right now, because apparently my levels are way too low. I know I said I tried three times, but I feel like I can do this. I think... I think I can do this with even my Pokemon being so low. I guess... I've been doing more of the adventure side rather than the other side. I think that's why I'm getting destroyed right now. Now, if I can hit a strong side, I think I should be okay. Let's see. Let's try a strong-sided rollout. Yeah, that's a good hit. Alright. The Swift's gonna kill me. Alright. Hmm. I don't know how to- ch can you change this move at all? If I don't finish this, I know- if I don't- 
If I can't win here, I know for a fact that I need to... I can't win this battle in real time. Yeah, I don't think I can win this battle. Like... I was close that one turn, but this Swift is just destroying me. Oh, well, no, <laughs> never mind. We did it. I see. Now, Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Thank you. Now explain the Galaxy team's plan. What do you mean to do with those foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed some soothing bombs of sort to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help keep if it helps soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. Alright. There! A, vi a variable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Runes. I'm ready! That, that didn't sound like me. As I am. Or as am I. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet time of the ceremony, we prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Brits, to keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Oh. Oh! I understand now why he's so cool with a Pokemon, even though I'm not gonna use him on my final team. Alright. Uh... Well... Gust! Alright, that's fine. I've kind of noticed that... I didn't even mean to throw out my Pokemon. Maybe 100% real here. I'm trying to get a paralysis he here. That's my main goal, but I'm I'm not going to be able to do it. But if I can hit a... If I can hit a rollout here. Uh -huh, that's not good. Yep. I knew it's not good. Okay. Good dodge by me.
I dodged. I definitely dodged. I definitely dodged. Oh my god. This is so... A lot more difficult than I thought it would be. When Cleaver charges at you, dodge to the side, use the Y button to evade his axe, swinging axe to position yourself well. He may crash into a wall or a tree in the center of their area. Arena, this will be your chance to throw one of your Pokemon party balls to initiate a Pokemon battle. Yeah, but I, I, I suck. I'm already pretty low. Trust me guys, it'll get better once I actually know how to do this. Like, once I learn. That's why I'm so quiet right now, because it's so hard. Oh shit, I missed. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh my god, I thought I missed that, but I guess I didn't. Dodge! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh my god. Oh my god. Did I do it? I think I did it. Holy shit. You're a big boy, aren't you? Well, we got the insect plate.
What, what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that strange light was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? I don't know. Well, this is what I think. After all we've seen, we kind of we know some strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift in the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver, driven him into the frenzy. After all, the lightning came up from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, th then the strange lightning, it indeed was almost Sinnoh's power. Then were we even right to? Try to interfere? I happily went along in this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Worlds have, has been long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power set by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Breadstick is trying to accomplish now, just, it needs, needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you could come across other Pokemon in the gripe of the Painful Frenzy, please help them. Hmm. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming br briefly incomposed. I'm greatly grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these, on behalf of the Pearl Clan, consider my apology for having spoken so rudely to you earlier, and the token of my thanks. Citrus Berries. Let me care for your Pokemon as well, and appreciate fighting for your behalf. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still can't imagine the reasons that play. And it seems we've settled things here, though, between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. Alright. So with that being said, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Once you do, join that Breadstick Battalion. Make sure you check out my other channels in the description below. Make sure you check out my Twitch, my Discord, my other social media. But besides all that, we will see you guys next time. Peace out, my friends.